guys, it's Jack with the Teenage Techie, and today we have the brand new, just released today, new iPad. They, don't, they haven't given it a name, so it's not like iPad 3 or iPad HD or anything, but it should be interesting, so let's just get it open. One thing that you notice with the box right away is the similarity between these boxes. You see, you have uh, pictures of the device, iCloud, name, name information on the back. So let's just get this box opened up. And I already took off the plastic so I wouldn't have to cut anything out. So there there it is. Let's take the plastic off here. So there it is. You can't tell right now because the screen's not on, but this is the new, brand new Retina display. You have home button, front facing camera. On the left side, since this is the, the 4G AT&T version, you got the black strip up top and it, um, this is the 32 gigabyte, so you can see that. You have the brand new 5 megapixel iSight camera that utilizes a bunch of the same technology that the uh, camera in the iPhone 4S does. You have your um, mute switch here and your power, um, I'm sorry, volume rocker here and your power switch there and your headphone jack. And then your 30 pin standard Apple connector cable right there. So I'm going to put this aside. Oh, one more thing. Uh, this comes in um, a bunch of different iterations. It comes in white and black. You also have a Wi-Fi only in a Wi-Fi and 4G models. And the Wi-Fi and 4G models here in the States come in of AT&T and Verizon with various data plans. So if you put this aside, we look at the box. Here you have the 10-watt um, iPad uh, adapter. A note that this is um, this is an iPad, not specific because you can charge your other stuff with it too. But if you if you you for optimal um, charging, you should use this with your iPad. If you use one of the other power bricks from like the iPhone, it won't charge as fast because it, it won't doesn't generate enough, as much power. Here you have the um, little quick start guide. Your standard Apple um, stickers. Little iPad shows you what I told you: silent up and down SIM tray. Oh, I forgot to show you the SIM tray on the side. There's a SIM tray right here for the 4G versions, and it comes with one pre-installed. And it's you just set up the data plan when you turn it on. And here's your looks like mostly legal stuff. You don't need to read that. So we can just put this back in here for right now. Set this aside. Here's your iPad USB cord that plugs into into this into the iPad over here from here with a 30 pin and here's a USB th uh, port that plugs into here for when you're um, it either plugs into your computer or you can plug it in here for wall charging and um, that's it in the box they don't include any headphones but you'll you'll probably have other headphones somewhere lying around or if not you can probably I think there's like maybe the iPhone headphones are about 10 bucks and you can buy them from Apple. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and then I'll cut back to you after I have it finished. Okay guys, so here I am. I finished setting up and um, there's not too much I can show you uh, that's really new in the software. Most of the changes made in the new iPad are the hardware changes, but um, something that should help with the software performance is um, definitely uh, the new graphics chip, the A5X, which has quad-core graphics chip on um, embedded in the system on the chip. So it, it's really f smooth flying around. You got notifications, but basically iOS hasn't been changed that much. So I can just show you some of these gestures. Oh, one thing that's new is software dictation, and software dictation is pretty good. So now I'm talking into it, and it's recording what I'm saying. So now when I don't do it, it should do this. So, I don't know if it'll let me scroll back, but it typed. I'll show you in the notes app real quick. This is a test of dictation on the iPad, period. It is pretty cool, exclamation point. So as you can see, it's pretty accurate. Um, let, me, let me just go home. 
Um, and I'm going to show you the screen. There's nothing that you can really... You can't even tell the individual pixels right there. Um, and so I'm like right up on the screen right now and you can't, you can see some of that, um, effect, but you can't really distinguish it in between any pixels. And I'm actually hitting the, the thing, I'm actually hitting the screen against the camera right now. So that's as close as it's going to get. What if, I wonder if I can zoom in even more. Well, that's not going to do that. Okay, so yeah, but that's it's about as clear as I can get. It's probably it might be the best display I've ever seen on a mobile device. And I'm also I just want to note that the that the new iPad also works with the existing smart cover on the uh, so it'll just go like this, and when you use magnets, it'll, it should turn on. So it should lock it. And now it'll unlock it. And now it'll lock it. And it's unlocked. You, it's like the screen's dark, though. Okay, so yeah, there you go. There you go. So um, that's gonna wrap it up for our iPad. Uh, the new iPad unboxing, guys. Be sure to check out um our site at the the teenagetechie.com, and be, check out all of our other videos and reviews. Uh, see you guys later.